everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back at this project again today. I've been gone actually most of the day. River had some social time with his friends. I brought him over to that. But for the morning, I was able to uh, stain a lot of these boards. You can see the rack of boards all drying over there. And I was able to get a few of these guys on here. Uh, I've been going kind of slowly with these, you know, maybe doing three boards and then another three boards and then another three boards. Uh, and that way I make sure, because they're all changing height, I, I want to make sure that I'm not making them too long or too short. Obviously, if they're too long, you can just trim them, but uh, I'm also trying to make sure that the scrap pieces off the end of these are useful for other things. So I don't want to be cutting more than I need and making the scrap shorter than it could have been, because the longer the scrap is, the more versatility I have in using it. So I did a little bit of that this morning. Uh, for the rest of the day today, I'm going to be staining some more boards. Tomorrow is going to be another good day for doing this kind of stuff. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be dry. It's going to be a little breezy. Great drying weather. Um, so I'm uh, just trying to get as many boards as I can uh, ready to kind of pop up here. Uh, I've got these uh, are going to be the last two boards that are going to go up over on the other side over there. And I've got a couple of boards actually stacked right over here that I'm going to want here. I think I'll probably be a few short and I'll need to stain up a few more. On this pile back here uh, is a bunch of boards that are actually going on the, uh, the north wall, which I haven't even started on. All these, uh, these boards right here. Uh, are all about 10 feet long and uh, as I've been going through the pile uh, when I get a piece of scrap or I find a piece that is appropriate for that I've been uh, cutting those to length and they're all ready to go up but I, I ha really have to wait until I get across the east wall before I kind of start going around the north because you have to kind of work the corner pieces uh, kind of in conjunction with each other so I can't start the north wall until this wall is up there so I can kind of do that last piece and get them together so that it's a nice tight seam like that. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, summer projects. We, you know, what we're doing for this season. Obviously, uh, I want to finish this up and I, I, gosh, I mean, another week I think this project will be done. And it's going to be nice. That's like an accomplished thing. The only thing I have to do after I get the whole thing boarded up is I want to put the stucco on the bottom. Uh, you can see it's just foam and wire lath down there right now. So I want to get the stucco covering the bottom and I want to get a bead of uh, spray foam under the bottom that has the, uh, the borax mixed in for uh, keeping uh, cre creatures and critters out. I'll also put a little piece of wire mesh under there so you know, we don't have mice burrowing up uh, into the walls from down there. Uh, so once this is done though, the, the two big projects that I want to get accomplished this season, uh, and there's a bunch of others, but these are the ones that I want to make sure I get done because I'd be really disappointed in myself if I didn't. Uh, one of them is uh, down there, there's that silver tarp next to the cars. That's where we've had the wood pile. That's where I've been pulling wood out of to keep the house warm over the winter. Uh, that's going to be where the woodshed is going to go. I wasn't sure where I wanted to put the woodshed. There have been all sorts of different ideas. Maybe put it up here so, you know, if we got firewood delivered, they could just drive up and drop it up here. Uh, of course, the downside of that is that if we want to use the wood, we've got to walk all the way up here in the snow and, or, you know, we'd have to shovel the whole path up here and then walk it all down. You know, we thought about, well, maybe you could throw it through the windows, all these kind of crazy ideas. But I settled on the idea of putting the woodshed right there because it's just really convenient. Uh, you know, when you want to get firewood, you walk out of the front door, the driveway area is always going to be plowed because, you know, we take the cars in and out. Uh, we just walk across and we get the firewood right over there. Plus, if we ever did want to get firewood delivered, they just dump it right in the driveway. I don't think I'd ever do that, though, because we have an entire forest here. Um, but you know, you want to keep your options open. So we want to get uh, that firewood pile moved out of the way. And I think I'm going to nip out one of the trees and then we're going to be putting our woodshed right down in there. So that's a big project. You know, building the woodshed is like kind of like a medium project, but we got to move the entire pile of logs before we do it. So that's one thing we want to do. And the other thing is getting the solar uh, electric panels up on the south facing roof over there. I'm talking with someone. In fact, the people that put the panels on this roof of all the contractors, they were one of the ones I felt did a really solid job. Um, I'm talking to them not about installing our panels, but about putting the rails that hold the panels up. They did a really great job mounting rails onto this roof. It's the exact same roof over there. So I called them up. It's like, hey, can I hire you guys to just put the rails for mounting the panels over on that roof? They do that part of the job. And then when it comes to my part where I have to carry the panels up and mount them, I've already essentially got ladders, you know, the rails up on the roof. So it'll make it a lot easier, a lot safer. And um, I really hate heights. So anything that I can give to someone else who's reliable, who has a solid track record of doing things right, I'm really excited about that. So those are the two big projects get the, this done, and then firewood pile and solar panels up on that roof. I'm sure I'll come up with other things as well. That's it. Thanks for watching.